Welcome today to uh, another AVA video where I'll be guiding you through some settings uh, that will make the game run a little bit smoother. Some settings that you can't really find all that easily, so I'll just uh, guide you through very quickly uh, in this video. Um, the most important thing for you to know, first of all, is of course how you can change certain settings. Uh, the file that we'll be looking at is the AVA option settings of INI file, which you can find as follows. Currently in my Steam folder, as you can see, so you go to Steam Apps, Common, AVA, uh, then it's AVA Game, then it's Config, and then you see AVA Option Settings, which is an INI file. This is like the settings file of AVA. Um, some people call it like the Pandora's box, I think I heard the devs call it. But this is where you can change a lot of uh, game settings. You can also change most of these settings in-game. But there are a few settings in here that you can't change in-game. And that I feel you should change in order to make the game run a little bit uh, smoother. So I'll go over a few settings uh, as we scroll down. I won't uh, tackle all of them. Uh, as you can see here, the most important... Uh, well, these sound settings sensitivity mouse smoothing this is all in game shader model as well uh audio channel i'll, I'll also go over the in-game settings in like a little bit um but we first have to scroll down a little bit uh, because i think the first thing that we're going to come across is indeed this one enable preset cache uh, which i've set to true uh this is the setting for preloading uh, I turned this on because it helps me a little bit with uh, with loading in the game, but I've also noticed that there will be less that there are less RAM issues when I do run it. So not sure how that works because the setting would suggest literally the opposite. But <laughs> the game has has always been interesting, so uh, that's why I would uh, just make sure that you have that set uh, to true. Um, then another uh, setting which is not much far below. Uh, let's see, um, we were somewhere here, yeah, the enable, uh, the, well, we have the load thread as well, which I've set to 1. Not sure if this is <coughs> by default on 0, if it's on 0, also turn this on uh, to 1, it will also help you a little bit with loading and threading, as the name suggests. Then we'll scroll a little bit further down. There's a lot of settings, as you can see here, and a lot of settings that you don't want to mess with. So these are settings that you either, if you are aware of uh, how Unreal Engine works, you can mess with them. Uh, or, of course, if uh, you know what kind of settings that you are allowed to mess with. Uh, this setting, this one, a default is set to zero. Allow one frame thread lag. This also helps you a little bit with performance settings. This is uh, one of the settings that you Jambo uh, came across. So huge shout out to him. He actually found out a lot more settings. Uh, I'll make sure to leave a link to his channel in the description. But this also helps with uh, with FPS issues. So make sure to set this to 1, which by default is 0. So this setting. Now we scroll down a little bit more. At some point, we will reach this one. B, use raw mouse input. Uh, this is set to false by default. Not really sure why that is the case. Uh, I always set it to true. It makes the mouse just feel like a little bit different and it feels, at least to me, it feels more normal, less stuttery. Uh, so if you have a feeling like, hey, my sensitivity feels a little bit off, change it to true, see how it works. If you already feel like the sensitivity is fine, then, then don't touch it, don't bother. Because you'll have to relearn, of course, again. Now we scroll a little bit down. We come across this setting, monitor hertz, which is set to minus one. When it's set to minus one, it uses basic scanning rate, so it uses whatever your monitor uses. This is also an in-game setting, but I also want to make sure that you guys know that you can also change this uh, in-game. Or uh, and, uh, and the settings file, of course. Now we come to the most important settings. These settings all have to do with uh, with FPS and also a little bit with net coding, although I haven't really yet figured out if it does have an impact. I uh, played a few days with. Yesterday I played without. Yesterday net coding settings seemed a little bit off, so maybe it helps. Uh, these are again settings that Ujambo came across, so huge shout out to him. You have the max frame latency. By default set to zero, make sure to set it to one. You have triple buffering, uh, which I've set to true. Default is false. This also helps with uh, the loading in. Then this one, the GPU threat priority, this is the priority that Windows gives to your GPU on how to run the game. By default, this is on zero, which means priority is normal. Uh, I've set it to five, which is the highest, which is very high. So this will uh, will help a lot with your uh, 
with, with graphics issues. So if you run into graphics issues, make sure to change these settings. Then you'll come across three settings that you guys do not have, which I do have, which are the max net tick rate, the net uh, client ticks per second, and the net server max tick rate. Uh, these I've added. These are uh, Unreal Engine codes, and those are also settings that Ujambo came across. Make sure to set these to 60 and 60 here accordingly. The middle one, you should try to make that match whatever hertz your monitor is. So if you don't have like a gaming monitor, use 60. I have a 144 hertz monitor, set it to 144. If you have something else, make sure to change that value accordingly to that. These last three should help you a little bit with, uh, uh, with, with latency. Hopefully it makes the game feel smoother. The hit rec feels a little bit better, but like I said, I've yet to like fully test it. I don't have like a massive, massive poll or anything to check. Uh, so that's why I want to invite you guys to change that, to try that, and to also let me know if it does feel smoother. Because if it does feel smoother, I can of course pass this on to the devs and they will look into it. Then there's a few settings I want to uh, look at in-game. So I already have the game booted up. People already want to invite me. We'll go to the settings. Uh, as you can see, I have pretty much every, well, I have everything set to uh, max. Some important settings that you should know about. First of the screen mode. Uh, I use the full window game. You can also use full window mode. This is borderless full screen. I use this because it means I can alt tab. And as a streamer, this is uh, very, very nice to have. Otherwise the game could potentially crash if you use full screen mode. However, if you use full screen mode, you can make use of a setting to like kind of unlock the FPS. So it's not 200 FPS cap. So it's a bit of a trade off, but I've chosen uh, for this option. How this works, I will briefly explain later on. Uh, but since it's not something I'm using, I will uh, not dive into it too deep. And there's many other people such as Snow Shovel that's made tutorials on it. So uh, they will explain that to you as well. So this is the basic scanning rate. So if you don't want to change monitor hertz to minus one, the settings file, you can do it here as well. Uh, and another important setting for performance. No, this is only for shader model three. You use shadows in real time. You can see shadows, especially in a map like dual side when you're holding one side on NRF and you see people coming up uh, around the tank, coming towards uh, side one, you will see a lot of shadows. This is a setting that you want to use, especially in competitive two. Then for audio, there's four audio channels. You have 16, 32, 64, 128. Basically all channels but 32 are broken. <laughs> so only use channel 32. And as you can see by default, the reverb effect is turned on. Make sure to turn that off. It messes uh, with your settings. And then of course you have three more settings. So you have the music volume, which focuses on the lobby music, the system volume, which is uh, like the, the charge sets and such uh, speech commands, the round ends, round start uh, sounds, and of course the game volume. So the guns, the footsteps, uh, but also the commands like Z, X, and C uh, commands. They're all linked to game volume. Um, yeah, for controls, don't use these two settings. Choose sensitivity you like. My sensitivity is ridiculously high, but I know that. And then finally, game settings. Um, if you turn on vertical synchronization, um, then it's li limited to 60. Of course, if your monitor refresh rate is a little bit higher, 144, which I would have. Uh, but if you then in NVIDIA settings, then also uh, uh, if you dare disable it, if disable the V-Sync for the game, then it can go beyond 200. That's the setting I was talking about earlier. Not using that doesn't work with full screen windowed. So uh, if you want a tutorial on that, make sure to check Snow Shovel's video with someone else. I do use smooth frame rate. If you use smooth frame rate and set these to 200, I've noticed also in the old AVAs that the FPS just feels a little bit smoother. So make sure to use that. Use second cam. Um, well, as it says, activates HUD window shows enemy when kill or get killed and allies who use radio chat. So this shows like a camera when you die. So you have a little bit of extra information after you die. The alley silhouette. Uh, you can see your allies or your teammates uh, much more easily. So it makes it, well, you won't get scared of your teammates too quickly. The minimap shot after image. So when you shoot an enemy, you can leave an after image of the minimap. That's going to help you a lot. And mute the stat status board sound. So when people ping on the map with T, you won't hear those sounds. They're very annoying, so I advise you to turn that off. And those are basically all the settings that you need to know about. So 
in a nutshell explained still 10 minutes but in a nutshell explained how they what they are i'll make sure to list all the settings in the av option settings file in the chat in, in the chat in the uh, video description so you can easily copy them and replace them just only note that uh, the last three i explained the ones related to the hit rack if it even helps uh, they are not in there and you need to add them yourself that's that so thank you for watching i hope this helps you uh make the game run a little bit smoother and uh, let me know definitely let me know in the comments uh, if this works for you